GM hit with a $103 million U.S. jury verdict. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. Does your GM vehicle happen to have a Generation 4 Vortec 5300 LC9 engine? GM, seemingly the garbage maker company, gets slapped with a $103 million jury verdict? You got it. A federal court jury in California has ordered General Motors to pay $102.6 million to a class of consumers after finding that it hid an engine defect that caused problems, including stalling and premature breakdown in tens of thousands of SUVs and trucks. Hiding the mistake. Yeah, yeah. The verdict was handed down last Tuesday following a rare class action trial in U.S. District Court in San Francisco, lawyers for the plaintiffs announced. The winning class includes owners and lessees of SUVs and trucks sold from 2011 to 2014 in California, North Carolina, and Idaho that contained the company's Generation 4 Vortec 5300 LC9 engine. Look it up. If your vehicle has this engine, each of the roughly 38,000 class members would get $2,700. That's if the verdict survives appeal. Uh, yes, and GM has already said they're going to appeal. Well, they have 103 million reasons to do so, but there's no doubt in my mind that GM is building a ton of junk these days. Christopher Stombaugh of DeCello Levitt, lead lawyer for the plaintiffs, said in a statement he was thankful for the courage of the jury who did the right thing in holding GM responsible for its deceit and half-hearted efforts to address its problems. As Liz pointed out, GM said in a statement that it did not believe the verdict was supported by the evidence and planned to appeal. The plaintiff's 2016 lawsuit centered on an alleged defect that caused the engines to use too much oil and allowed oil to reach parts of the engine where it didn't belong, causing damage. They said the company was aware of the problem by 2010 when it recommended to its dealers that they clean the vehicle's pistons to address the problem. Clean the pistons? When that didn't work, GM made design changes to the engine in 2011, but ultimately failed to solve the problem and discontinued the engine after the 2014 model year, the plaintiff said. This isn't the first time that GM has been in hot water in court. GM has faced litigation accusing it of covering up problems with vehicles over the years, including alleged deadly flaws in steering wheel sensors and ignition switches. Now for a little story to wrap this beauty up. A lady walked into a GM dealership, she browses around, spots a decked out GMC Sierra. As she bends over to check out the fine leather upholstery, she accidentally breaks wind. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know where this was going. Quite embarrassed, she looks around nervously to see if anyone has noticed oh, no. and prays that a salesperson doesn't pop up right at that moment. <laughs> but as she turns around, she sees that a salesman is standing right behind her. Good day, ma'am, he says. How can I help you? Very uncomfortably, she asks, Sir, what is the price of this lovely truck? He answers, Ma'am, since you farted touching it, you're going to shit yourself when I tell you the price. <laughs> Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. Just be careful what you ask for, I guess. In other GM-related news, GMC is pushing its heavy-duty line of Sierra pickups further into luxury territory by adding Denali Ultimate and AT4X versions for 2023. The 2024 GMC Sierra HD also receives a new front end and interior, a more powerful diesel engine, a standard 10-speed transmission, and other changes largely mirroring an upcoming mid-cycle update on the Chevy Silverado HD. The Freshen truck is scheduled to reach dealerships in the first quarter of 2023, with the AT4X trim becoming available later in the year. It's a good thing they're freshening things up. Yeah. By expanding the Denali Ultimate and AT4X trims from the light duty Sierra to the 25 and 3500s, GMC aims to solidify its position as the top seller of pickups priced at 75,000 and up, said Duncan Aldred, vice president of Global Buick and GMC. About half of heavy duty pickups sold fall into that price range and nearly 70% of Sierra HD sales already are either the Denali or AT4, according to Aldred. Aldred said, this represents a big, big part of this segment. It's just an incredibly powerful part of the GMC business and frankly, GM overall. The Sierra HD Denali Ultimate has a unique grill, dark chrome badging, and an interior filled with full grain leather and open pour Paldao wood accents. It comes with massaging front seats. Is that even legal? <laughs> um, a micro suede headliner, a 12 speaker Bose premium system, a 15 inch multicolor head up display, and a power sunroof. 
The AT4X is a higher end version of the AT4 trim designed for off-roading. Mm -hmm. AT4, which GMC introduced in 2019, accounts for 27% of Sierra HD sales and attracts a younger, more affluent buyer, Aldred said. GMC will reveal pricing closer to the start of output. The 2023 Sierra HD Denali starts at $73,140, including shipping for a 4x4 crew cab model. With the Denali Ultimate Package adds about $12,000 to the price of a light-duty Sierra Denali. The 2023 Sierra HD AT4 starts at $66,195, and upgrading to an AT4X from a light-duty Sierra AT4 adds about $14,000. Smoking high prices there. Yeah. The 2024 Sierra HD equipped with a 6.6 liter Duramax turbo diesel V8 produces 470 horsepower and 975 pound-feet of torque up from 445 horsepower and 910 pound-feet of torque. Maximum towing capacity on the Sierra 2500 is 22,500, a 4,000 pound increase. The available pro-grade trailering system providing up to 14 camera views has the most available trailering assistance technologies in the Sierra HD's class, GMC said, and a 13.4 inch diagonal tablet style infotainment touchscreen is the largest offered in the class. I've got some exciting news to share with our viewers. At the end of this month, MPG Extreme, the company producing the X caps, is going global and we along with many of you get credit for helping to make that happen the x caps are producing great success stories all across the country saving people money on their fuel expenses there's something every intelligent person should understand success leaves clues and the fact that mpg extreme is already going global opening in 30 new countries gives you a major clue that the product works how can you save money using the X caps? If your vehicle burns premium gas, you can downgrade to regular 87 octane and use an X cap instead. It boosts the octane that much and you know it's much cheaper. For other vehicles, it saves you money by boosting your fuel economy. It won't be long before your friends and neighbors are using X caps to save on fuel costs, but you can be first. Just click the link appearing on the screen or in the description box down below. If you have questions about the X-CAP and how it can boost your fuel economy, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the X-CAP, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database and they let us know if it works so we can promise you a straight up honest answer about your vehicle. Helping the average vehicle owner is what we've been doing for 13 straight years. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to the family. Of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of you faithful followers out there. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.